Hi, my name is Terry Wilson and I'm from Wilson Architectural Building Designs. I'm going to talk to you about CDM, Construction Design Management, and whether, my, whether your building project needs it. Well, in 1994, the government, government brought out legislation to enforce health and safety on all commercial construction sites. And that was to promote health and safety, which saves people's lives and prevents uh, injuries and fatalities. In 2015, the government brought it out in domestic projects, building projects, because it works so well in the commercial world, they decided to bring it out in domestic world, which I personally think is a brilliant idea. Because if a building contractor is working to CDM regulations, it means that they're responsible people. It means that not only do they look after themselves on site, but they look after their workforce. So basically, your building project uh, will need, or will does fall under the CDM health and safety regulation. So what does that mean for you? Well, what that means is, is that you're responsible for the health and safety on your building project. So you're thinking to yourself, well, why am I responsible? I know nothing about the construction work. Because if, say for instance, your building attractor was to fall off a ladder, or one of his uh, subcontractors was to fall off a ladder, you would be responsible. So again, you think, well, what's this got to do with me? So it's up to people like myself, architects, designers, to give the clients advice to say to them your responsibility to deal with the health and safety on the project. But as soon as you know nothing about health and safety or construction, then your job is to appoint somebody, i.e. your principal contractor, to take over the health and safety. So when you meet your building contractor for the first time or second time, you need to say to him, Will you be the principal contractor for this project and take over the CDM health and safety? And what they should say is, is yes, of course. And that means that you've got, that you're gonna employ a responsible building contractor that's gonna take over the health and safety CDM and take the responsibility away from you. So as a CD, the CDM regulation makes you responsible for the health and safety on your project, and you as a client needs to appoint the principal contractor or a principal designer like myself to take on the role of the of the CDM health and safety. Some clients think that they're not responsible for the CDM health and safety and they choose to ignore it. Well, that's okay, but if there was something to go wrong, the finger would be pointed back to you. One of the reasons that clients feel that they don't need to appoint a, uh, a principal designer or a, um, a principal contractor to carry out the CDM health and safety is because when they read the government website, it's a little bit confusing. So here's the condition. If you're employing more than one subcontractor to carry out your building work, then you do fall within the CDM health and safety regulation. And when I mean by one subcontractor, that's not employing uh, Bob the Builder's uh, company as a whole, it means an individual. So if you're employing on your building project more than one subcontractor, then you do fall within their regulations. So trust me, you do fall within the CDM regulations and you need to appoint somebody to become the principal designer or principal contractor to take the responsibility of any injuries or fatalities it may happen on your job, you need to take the responsibility away from yourself and appoint someone else and make them sign and agree that they're taking responsibility of the CDM. Thanks very much for watching my videos. My name is Terry Wilson from Wilson Architectural Building Designs. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe below. Or if you need any help or support, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Good luck.